Hello students, it's me your science ma'am. How is everyone at home? I hope all are in fine health. Students stay home and stay safe. As we all know about the epidemics the world is going through. So kindly take, of, uh, take care of yourself and your family too. But during such situation also we have to fight through and move on with the education right. So I will be explaining, explaining the lesson through my video clips. Okay, we'll start with chapter 1 that is food and digestion. Before we uh, like we will go through point wise. Okay, first we'll see what is food. Food are the things that we eat for our good health. And what do we gain from food? Uh, the importance of food is it gives us energy, it helps us to grow and it keeps us healthy. Alright, once we utilize our energy, we again feel hungry, we feel tired. Alright, so again to regain the energy, what we should do? We must eat food. Next is nutrients in the food. Alright, food contains different nutrients that help our body, for, uh, that helps us for our survival and it even helps for the growth of our body. Now different nutrients, they have different functions. Nutrients are classified into different groups. They are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Point wise, we will go through each of the nutrients. First is carbohydrate. Carbohydrate, it gives energy to do work, to play and move around and many other activities what we do. Okay, so we gain, gain energy and we can do different activities. Now there are types of carbohydrates, they are sugar and starch. We know that the taste of sugar is sweet and it's found in different food items like honey, juice, ice creams, different types of sweets. Starch, starch they are found in cereals and vegetables like rice, wheat, cereals like rice, wheat, vegetables like potato, peas. Okay, so these are the types of sugar and uh, I mean the types of carbohydrates, they are sugar and starch. The people who do lots of physical works, they need more of carbohydrates means those laborers sports person right they need uh, lots of energy all right so they need uh, for gaining of energy they need to take lots of uh, carbohydrate uh, food containing carbohydrate okay the next is fats fats what they do we get energy from fats and even fats keep our body warm now compare if when we compare fats and carbohydrate uh, fats give more energy compared to carbohydrate okay and now some examples we can see of fats as ghee oil butter and now uh, excess eating of fatty foods it leads to a disease called obesity why because uh, once you eat the fatty foods fats get stored in the body and this uh, fats are utilized when you do not get food but if the fats are not utilized or not used by your body then the fats keep get stored and the person become obese all right, and this disease, obesity, it leads to different uh, diseases, heart diseases, and it and it can even lead to a person's death also. All right, so fatty food should be take uh, taken in certain required quantities only, and carbohydrate and fats they are energy giving food. Next, we'll see the proteins. Proteins are the bodybuilding food. All right, they are bodybuilding food because they help in growth and helps in repairing the body parts. Children and young adults, they require more of protein foods compared to uh, adults because they are in their growth stage. That's why they require more of proteins. Examples are beans, pulses, milk, fish and many more. Alright, vitamins and minerals, these are the protective foods. Alright, and they keep one healthy, uh, uh, by keeping a person healthy, uh, that is they fight through the disease causing germs. They fight with those germs and they keep the person healthy vitamins and minerals they are required in very small quantities some examples are fruits vegetables cereals and etc other important things uh, in our nutrition we need is uh, roughage and water roughage roughage of food containing fibers this helps to remove waste from our body it helps to remove uh, all the waste after the digestion process is taken it removes the waste from the body if uh, waste are not removed from the body a person may fall sick may suffer from different problems so roughage is very important in our uh, diet also okay water water a person needs to drink at least six to eight glasses of water daily because there is loss of water from our body daily through sweats through urine and different ways also so to regain the loss of water in our body we need to drink uh, plenty of water at least six to eight glasses of water daily 
The last topic of uh, today's uh, clip is balanced diet. Diet that includes all nutrients, roughage, water in right amount. So in in your diet, you need you need uh, equal quantities of the nutrients, roughage, and water. That is your balanced diet. Okay, so students, uh, I will be explaining the next part of the lesson in the other clip. So follow the next clip also, so, and I will stop here for today. Thank you.